so my uh, title is the magnetoelectric uh, coupling of bilayer and tilayer uh, two to lsm of pvdf trfp laminate composite at room temperature so <clears throat> multiferroic material are basically uh, those material which uh, consist of uh, two two or more ferroic orders uh, like uh, ferromagnetism uh, and ferroelectric mm. and in in the case of magnetoelectric uh, there is a cross coupling between these uh, ferroic orders so magnetoelectric materials are classified according to uh, the uh, if it, uh, the cause uh, of generating the magnetoelectric effect so first is the direct magnetoelectric effect so whenever a magnetoelectric material is exposed to a magnetic field so there is a generation of magnetostrictive strain so that magnetostrictive strain is passes to the uh, piezoelectric phase uh, which generates the uh, polarization this is the direct magnetoelectric effect and where the converse magnetoelectric effect Uh, we apply an electric field to this uh, magnetic um, uh, material, and there is a generation of piezoelectric strain, and that strain passes to the uh, piezomagnetic phase, and that generates magnetization. So, uh, this magnetic uh, effect is classified uh, by the quantity of alpha H V, that is magnetic coupling coefficient, that is uh, the change of the uh, Uh, generation of electric uh, field with respect to the magnetic field that is delay daily delay and that's that depends upon the interface coupling between the piezoelectric and piezomagnetic phase and uh, the uh, piezoelectric coefficient as well as the piezomagnetic coefficients uh, so there are uh, three types of uh, composites uh, that is polymer nano composites uh, one is the zero three particulate uh, structure the one three uh, fiber structure and the two two layer or laminate structure in the zero three structure uh, there is a there is some problem uh, regarding the generation of magnetoelectric voltage as uh, uh, as uh, the particles uh, in the zero three form uh, produce a less stress uh, stress as well as uh, there is a agglomeration problem in the zero uh, three zero three composite whereas the one three uh, is so is the better arrangements of this uh, uh, arrangements of this piezoelectric phase but uh, there is a still a problem of leakage uh, charges in this magnetic uh, composites so in the we prefer the two to laminate composites where Uh, the uh, contacting piezoelectric phases are separated by this uh, piezoelectric phases and we gets higher uh, uh, magnetic voltage due to the uh, due to the higher uh, interfacial layer between this uh, piezoelectric and piezoelectric phases so in this polymer uh, nano composites uh, or laminate layer uh, laminate structure there are three kinds of laminate structure one is uh, pm that is bilayer structure uh, another is pmp sandwich type structure and another is mpm uh, sandwich type structure so in this case we are studying um, the first two type two two laminate type uh, structure and the uh, pmp uh, sandwich type structure so in this uh, two types of laminate structure pm and uh, pmp structure uh, the magnetoelectric effect actually depends upon the aspect ratio that is uh, l by w that is length by width so whenever we decrease uh, the uh, length there is a increase of demagnetizing factor so as well as increasing the uh, aspect ratio there is a uh, there is low demagnetizing factor which increases the uh, magnetization or flux concentration in this magnetic uh, composites and which uh, gives higher magnetostriction or higher magnetic voltage in this uh, composites so there is also dependence of this thickness of the piezoelectric layer uh, of, um, on the magnetic uh, voltage that is increasing the thickness of this uh, the layer of the pvdf trfp that's increasing the uh, uh, number of dipoles in this uh, piezoelectric layer which which increases the 
generation of uh, majority voltage in this piezoelectric layer. And uh, if you reduce this uh, thickness of this uh, PVD, uh, piezoelectric layer, there is a uh, increase of this, uh, there is a uh, reduce. Um, there is a reduction of this uh, strength transfer uh, due to the increased thickness of this physiologic layer. So there is a two uh, this dependence of this magnetic voltage on this uh, aspect ratio and this thickness of the physiologic layer. So for the material selection, we uh, selected the uh, physiologic uh, phase as the PVDF TRP uh, copolymer uh, as it possesses high uh, physiologic. Uh, high um, cool temperature, ferrotic uh, cool temperature, and high uh, piezoelectric uh, coefficient as well as high uh, piezoelectric voltage coefficients. And for the piezoelectric phases or the magnetostricty phases we chosen, uh, this is LSMO, uh, a magnetostricty phases which possesses a high cool temperature, uh, that is 367 uh, Kelvin. As well as it possesses high volume magnetostriction of the order of 10 to the power minus uh, 6, as well as it shows high, uh, a interesting property that is uh, colossal matter resistance uh, is nearly minus uh, 14.5 at 90, 90 Kelvin. So, for the preparation of this uh, laminate uh, 2 to LSM PVD uh, composite, we choose in uh, the following uh, method that is, we prepare the soldier uh, LSMO nanoparticles by uh, soldier autocombustion methods. And these uh, nanoparticles uh, get calcined at 1100 degrees centigrade, and then we palletize the nanopart nanoparticles and sintered it at 1215 uh, degrees centigrade. And for the preparation of this PVD TRAP, we uh, choose the solution casting method and and uh, by this polymer flame and this uh, centered pallet, we uh, make we have fabricated this uh, two to LSM PVD PVD TRP composite by uh, the interfacial additions. So we uh, coming here to the uh, results part. That is, we have shown the XRD uh, patterns of this uh, PVD TRP flame as well as this uh, LSMO. Uh, pallets and nanoparticles. So, 11, uh, 110 and 200 uh, beta peak of PVDTRF peak uh, shows, the, shows that the uh, phase of this PVDTRF has been formed uh, to the to its beta phase. And uh, from this uh, XRD patterns of the LSMO nanoparticle and LSMO pallet, uh, it shows that uh, the phase formations of this LSMO phase Next, we have uh, shown here the magnetostriction uh, versus uh, magnetic field uh, uh, plots for this LSMO, LSMO pellet. That is, uh, as we increasing the in-plane magnetic field uh, from 0 to 5 kilo state, there is an increase of this uh, magnetostriction up to uh, 20 ppm. And, and corresponding piezoelectric coefficient is shown, uh, it's uh, decreasing from decreasing in the in the uh, field range 0 to uh, 5 uh, kilo step. Next, we have shown the uh, room temperature uh, MH curve for this LSMO pallet, which shows that uh, the phenomenetic nature of this uh, LSMO pallet at uh, room temperatures uh, with this uh, saturation magnetization of 4 EMU per gram. And we have shown uh, the M square versus H plot for this LSMO uh, pallet, uh, which shows that uh, the uh, magnetostic sun is proportional to uh, M square. And uh, from the DM to DH versus H plots, uh, it shows that uh, it, uh, it Uh, correlates the uh, magnetic coupling coefficients with with uh, uh, that is dm to dh that is uh, alpha m is proportional to uh, uh, d lambda dh so we have shown here the experimental setup uh, for this magnetic coupling coefficient measurement by the locking technique 
so here the sample is placed in a uh, uh, collinear AC and uh, DC magnetic field. The AC magnetic field is given by this Helmholtz coil and DC magnetic field is given by this uh, electromagnets. And the uh, magnetic voltage is measured by the lock-in amplifier uh, that uh, at the reference frequency generated by the function generator and the signal is extracted from the sample by the power amplifier uh, to lock, lock in uh, power, power amplifier to the lock in amplifier and uh, then measuring uh, the generated uh, magnetic voltage in, in these uh, laminate composites so next we have shown the modeling uh, setup uh, that is finite element model uh, where the finite element based model has been formed in this console multiphysics uh, 6.0 software so this uh, showing a sample geometry uh, it's a sample is placed uh, inside an ER domain and uh, the ac and uh, ac magnetic field is given by this helmholtz coil and a dc magnetic field is generated by a uh, the parametric sweep uh, in the range of 0 to 5 kilo state we have shown here the uh, PM uh, laminate structure and uh, PMP type laminate structure as well as the epoxy layer. For the uh, model setup, uh, we use uh, three types of physics that is multi physics, uh, magnetic field uh, modules, and solid mechanics module as well as electrostatic module. And to uh, to handle this physics, we use a two multi physics that is magnetostriction and the piezoelectric effect. So, here the uh, piezoelectric modeling for this PBDF TRP page uh, is given by this two equation uh, that is linear constructive equation of piezoelectricity. The strain is related to this uh, stress and this electric field, and here. Uh, the electric displacement vector uh, that is related to the stress tensor and as well as uh, to this uh, um, electric field vector. Similarly, uh, the magnetostriction effect in this layer sum of phase is modeled by the nonlinear isotropic model, where the magnetization is related to this uh, saturation magnetization and and uh, the effective magnetic field by these uh, functions and effective magnetic field is uh, the total field is equal to the applied field and the generation of this uh, uh, stress that has also uh, the effect to this effective magnetic field and the total magnetic induction is given by this uh, mu naught h plus m so there is generation of this uh, uh, strain in the magnetic phase by this uh, effect of this generation of magnetization that is uh, related to the debutary component of this uh, magnetization that is uh, because there is a change in shape uh, of this uh, of this uh, piezomagnetic phase so uh, the st stress strain equation uh, is related by this uh, equation that is a sigma uh, sigma minus sigma naught and equal to c and epsilon minus epsilon h so this is some uh, equations for this APM modeling and for the result part we have shown the experimental uh, magnetic coupling coefficient as well as simulated magnetic coupling coefficient so in the range of uh, increase in the magnetic field in the range uh, 0 to 5 kilohertz so there is an increase of this uh, me coefficient up to a certain magnetic field and there is a decrease after uh, the, the optimum magnetic field uh, that is uh, decreasing in nonlinear fashion uh, similarly uh, in the case of bilayer and trilayer uh, both showing the same type of uh, alpha uh, very alpha variation with respect to the magnetic field. So the reason of why this is uh, increasing and after uh, a certain magnetic field is decreasing because um, as we increasing the magnetic field, there is a generation of this piezomagnetic uh, strain in the piezomagnetic phase. But after a certain uh, optimum field, the uh, magnet 
the uh, sat magnetostatic sun saturates in this uh, prismatic phase which uh, reduces uh, the strain transfer after the optimum magnetic field so this is uh, there is a decrease of this uh, alpha with respect to the uh, hdc similarly uh, for the simulated me coefficients uh, the same nature is flowing uh, for this uh, bilayer and trilayer structure uh, but the uh, origin or where the where the alpha age is starting is different from the, the experimental uh, me coefficients um, so we have tabulated here uh, the uh, experimental and simulated me coefficients so from the result we uh, we concluded that uh, the by uh, trilayer structure it shows higher me coefficients than the bilayer structure as well as the bias magnetic field uh, for the trilayer structure is higher compared to the bilayer structure because the trilayer structure has uh, two lsmo uh, pvd trfp uh, interface which produces uh, more strength transfer compared to the bilayer structure so that gives higher magnetic uh, magnetic coefficients and uh, regarding the uh, requirement of higher bias field uh, in the trilayer structure that is here presents uh, two epoxy layer in the selection of pvd trfp uh, composites so that's uh, epoxy layer actually uh, uh, reduces the rotation of the selection of uh, trfp the lsmo layer and that produces less magnetostriction uh, uh, so they are required they are requires higher magnetic field in the trilayer structure and uh, there is a uh, mismatching of the experimental and simulated results uh, because uh, here uh, uh, the remanent magnetization of the lsmo layer and the a remand polarization of the PVD TRP layer is uh, not acceptable in this uh, APM modeling setup. So, in the experimental setup, uh, in the experimental case, the uh, LSMO layer is fast uh, magnetically pulled in in plane direction, as well as the PVD TRP layer is pulled uh, to its uh, plane perpendicular to this plane. But in APM modeling, uh, this uh, alpha h is starting from zero that indicates that uh, the remainder magnetization and remainder polarization is zero in this modeling setup so there is a uh, mismatching of the experimental and the simulated result but the modeling uh, verifies the strain mediated effect in this uh, composites is happening and uh, the uh, the experimental result uh, to trilayer and bilayer structure is uh, matched by this uh, apm based uh, simulations so conclusion part is that that me effect in this uh, pm uh, configuration bilayer structure and this pmp configuration trilayer structure uh, are both ex are determined both experimentally by the locking technique and finite element based uh, simulation model by this uh, console multiphysics uh, 6.0 software and the experimental study on the uh, on a weak coupling coefficient reveals that alpha h is higher for the trilayer structure and the required bias field is also higher compared to the bilayer structure in the apm based simulation uh, the magnetostatic lsmo layer is modeled by the nonlinear non isotropic model whereas the piezoelectric effect in the PVD TRP is modeled by the linear constitutive equation of piezoelectricity and the nature of the simulated result verifies the strain mediated effect and validates the experimental result obtained by this uh, locking technique. Uh, so we sincerely acknowledge, uh, so we, we sincerely appreciate the organizing committee of this uh, Sixth International Conference uh, of the uh, Advances in Material Science and Engineering met uh, 2023 uh, for giving us the opportunity to express our research work. And we also like to acknowledge uh, the RRK and HB9 uh, for the laboratory facility and research funds. And thank you. And any questions is there?